um, you know, He's advocate one us. side or another about, oh my God, this or that. But when you look at the big picture and just the sheer size of the population of LA County, any shift in any direction is going to generate a lot of victims. <laughs> and my goal is to reduce the total number of victims possible. And that's the only thing I can do responsibly. And SB 54 strikes a balance. However, we have to recognize it was a um, it was a political decision ultimately because it was not the starting point. If you look at the first piece of legislation versus the last, our uh, serious violent felonies uh, that eligible for SB 54 are being transferred to custody of ICE. Yes, they are. And some people don't understand that or misrepresenting that fact, but they are. Are we doing everything that we can within our power to ensure the undocumented population has no fear of local law enforcement? We're doing everything we possibly can. Wow. We're doing outreach, we're talking to all the different advocacy groups, we're making sure at the station level we are not using any information that has to do with immigration enforcement in our day-to-day uh, -day operations in the field or we're interacting with our community. So I take this uh, position very seriously. There's still a lot of work we have to do. We have to overcome a lot of doubts about the relationship between local law enforcement and federal immigration enforcement. And uh, I'm not gonna do their job. I don't expect them to do my job. And we're just gonna keep the two apart. Mm. And we're not gonna get in their way. I don't expect them to get in our way either. Mm. And that's how there should be that proper relationship between federal immigration enforcement and local law enforcement. Because our job is public safety and we don't get to pick and choose whose safety we provide. We have to provide it for the entire county of Los Angeles. And uh, that's on that issue. And now there's two other issues that I think you rose. One was about... Um, release dates. What is it? Posting the release Go dates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The use of the contractor, <clears throat> until we can uh, d develop a Star Trek uh, teletransporter, we're going to have to use somebody at some point to go from point A to point B physically impossible to do it outside of that. But the actual presence of uniformed ISIS in the jails was what I sought to eliminate from the beginning, and we did that. And uh, that was the most damaging. Visually, in terms of the impact in the uh, inmate population, seeing uniformed ICE agents operating, interviewing inmates inside the county facilities, that was the most damaging in effect mm. that I was trying to eliminate. And we succeeded in eliminating that. Grave. But we're still carrying out the obligations of SB 54. So we're not missing any beat at all. We're doing that. The, um, there was a third item. Release date. It had to do with the, the public website, the concern oh, yeah. about the public website. The public website, again, this is one where you have competing demands because ICE is using that information to do their enforcement action. But we also have citizens who have to pick up their loved one in the county jail. They could be have mental impairments, physical ailments, they could be uh, disabled, all kinds of things. They need to know when their loved one is coming out of jail so they can arrange for the transportation. But we don't have a tragedy in our hands, which has happened in the past. So it has a very important public safety aspect, the, the public website. And uh, does ICE have uh, use that? They probably do. However, they don't have any more access than anybody else, as, a, as the general public does. And they're not operating in the county jails, at the stations, or in our courthouses. So to, to the degree that we can separate the two functions as best physically possible, we've already achieved that. So we're actually making great strides. We've done this in less than four months. And we're going to continue moving ahead. We welcome all the input from all of you that have very different perspectives, even within the own commission, which is fine. And that's the whole purpose of having a a lively public debate, and then so forth, and so doing, we're going to advance the public's interest. 